Good day everyone. Today, you will learn on how to determine the behavior of the graph of a polynomial functions by just simply looking at the given leading term. Let us take this example number 1. y equals x raised to 4 minus 7x squared plus 6x. The leading coefficient here is 1 and the degree is 4. Notice that the leading coefficient is greater than 0 and the degree is even. When we say even, these are the numbers divisible by 2. If that is the case, the leading coefficient is greater than 0 and the degree is even, the end behavior of the graph is the left hand is rising, the right hand is also rising. So, rising, rising. In some other books, they use, instead of rising, they use increasing. Okay. How about case number 2? y equals negative 3x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed plus 13x squared minus 14x minus 24. The leading coefficient here is negative 3, which is less than 0. The degree is 4. And it is even. If the leading coefficient is less than 0 and the degree is even, the end behavior of the graph is falling, falling. You can see falling, falling. Okay, that is a case number 2. How about case number 3? Y equals the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 4, or y equals 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 7x plus 12. So the given is in factored form. To write this in a uh, standard form, just simply multiply 2x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 4. That becomes y equals 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 7x plus 12. Here, the leading coefficient is 2, which is greater than 0. The degree is 3, which is odd. When we say odd, these are the numbers that are not divisible by 2. If that is the case, the leading coefficient is greater than 0, and the degree is odd, the end behavior is falling, rising. That is case number 3. How about case number 4? y equals negative x raised to 5 plus 3x raised to 4 plus x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4 or the factored form of that is y equals negative quantity x plus 1 squared times the quantity x minus 1 times the square of the quantity x minus 2. Here, the leading coefficient is negative 1, which is less than 0. The degree is 5, which is odd. So, if that is the case, the leading coefficient is less than 0, and the degree is odd, the end behavior of the graph is rising, falling. To sum up, let us look at this table. If the leading coefficient is greater than 0 and the degree is even, the end behavior is rising, rising. If the leading coefficient is less than 0 and the degree is even, the end behavior is falling, falling. If the leading coefficient is greater than 0 and the degree is odd, the end behavior is falling, rising. And if the leading coefficient is less than 0 and the degree is odd, the end behavior is rising, falling. So that is how we determine the end behavior of the graph by just simply looking at the leading term. In our next video, we will sketch the graph. You will know also, how many turning points 
does a graph have? You will also learn on how to find the x-intercepts, y-intercepts, the constant term, the roots, and of course, on how to sketch the graph. So thank you so much.